Welcome back, Madden Harvest is officially here, we got some new players, there's 6 Iconics, we have 4 on the main screen, 2 hiding in the rewards, that I'll show you guys soon, but yeah, this promo is amazing, I love the art, honestly, I think this is the best art all year, the animation of the leaves falling is so nice, I just can't wait for Christmas time because you already know there's going to be snow falling, and that is going to look sick alone. Now we have Madden Harvest. Now, this is a holiday promo. This is Thanksgiving for all of you guys who don't know. I'm so excited. I am I really am excited because this is a long promo. This goes until December 1st, which is nice. So, Madden Harvest, let's get straight into it. We got Deion Sanders and uh, Zadari Smith, the center fullback. Not into fullbacks, and I don't need a center really, so like it's like it's like in the middle right there. I'm gonna just zone. Let's see, 150 zone, 150 a man, not bad. Honestly, that's pretty high. I think these are these are not the highest overall cards in the game, right? I, I don't think so. I think they might be, or they're up to what the last cards were, because these are the foils, 148 foils, 139 regular. So I think it's just like the last one because we have 139s. So yeah, so that is. There's stats, and then Madden Harvest. What goes great with Turkey? Football. I am, I'm, I I can't wait. Football on Thanksgiving, and then we have also for Christmas. There's also football games as well, which is great. Get ready to get your feast on in Madden Harvest. Head over to the Harvest tray to fill your plates with food and Harvest tokens. Craft uncommon harvest players with harvest tokens. Use harvest players and food to craft more rare harvest players. Ready for a challenge? Tackle the bonus board daily to complete all of the unique harvest achievements. Event ends on 12 1, 10 30 a.m. Eastern. Let's get it. Now, look at this main screen. Like, this is cool because there's leaves falling in the background. Everything on the main background is orange. It's not just like that one little corner. Everything is the same color. There's leaves falling everywhere. The cards are popping up. This honestly gives me a little bit of nostalgia from back then on how they did uh, the art and stuff, which is it's great. It's great. It's fantastic. We got a new look. Madden Harvest. I did open the game. I did look through some stuff, which is this like beginning stuff. Uh... We got the harvest tape. Yeah, right here. So, gobble, gobble. Complete all of the goals on the bonus board to earn uniforms, the harvest stadium, and more. But is that over time? Is that over time? I, I'm, I, wait, wait. Where's the achievements? Uh, do we have achievements? There's the bonus board. So, you play events throughout the bonus board. You get tokens. You do have to play, though. But you need what is it the tickets yeah you need the tickets to get the tickets how do you get tickets oh what is this tier one goals there's a lot going on in this promo i'm pretty sure you get tickets from the beginning harvest table it would only make sense yeah you do okay so you would play throughout these as 25 program stamina so you got your mashed potatoes you got your harvest coin blitz and your turkey blitz and then your food which i'm guessing is just yeah it's the random and then you get tickets you got the trophy one over here 400 trophies not bad then we got all the players right here we have the jeremy shockey which wasn't shown on the main one they're 139 regulars and oh the le well the level left to level 10 it's 156 they're 148 foils who's the other one right here uh Bentley, so that's the 148. This is 139. Those are two ones that were not shown on the main news tab. So yeah, then we got tutorial. Dang, there's so much stuff. Mountain Harvest recipe. Head over uh, to the harvest table and play challenges for harvest tokens, food items, and harvest tickets. Use harvest tokens to craft harvest uncommon players. Exchange harvest uncommon players and food items for harvest rare players. Use harvest rare players for food items to craft epic harvest players. Then you use the harvest epic players and food items to get the iconic harvest players. 
then you spend the harvest tickets to complete challenges on the bonus board then you complete all the goals on the bonus board to earn uniforms and harvest stadium and more that's actually great so uh the bonus board is where you'll get your uniforms is where you'll get your stadium and it's where you'll get more so there is a like there's different tiers it only goes up to four so i'm guessing tier four is definitely the stadium right cyber monday oh oh it tells you tier four gives you oh wait let's go over to the tier one wait so all of the tiers actually have something to collect which is the sixth one i believe it says collect 25 mashed potatoes tier two says collect 25 mac and cheeses Wait, there's mac and cheese? I didn't, I didn't even know there was mac and cheese. Claim free Thanksgiving Day pack. There's like Thanksgiving Day pack along with your Cyber Monday pack for free. So make sure you guys complete all of your tiers, which is very important to get some free rewards, which is nice. Wait, are the... We go back to the... I want to say tier four is events. Are they all 25? Wait, that's weird. So they're all starting at 0%. So you're going to have to build up over time the percentage of how many times you played and complete these goals. So make sure you maintain every day by playing the game and maintain your goals. I See, I don't know if you should go tier 1 first and then go down the line or if going tier 4. Like, I don't know if you have to go in order or you can just play by any of them. And then, oh wait, the main event right here? I didn't even see that one. Oh, that's a lot. This event has a chance of a player and a lot of harvest. Was it tokens? So, yeah. Spend harvest tickets to complete challenges and goals. Finish tiers to earn uniforms in the Mount Harvest Stadium. So, you just gotta finish all these tiers. Tier Master Tap here. Ooh. Oh! Complete all tier achievements. Complete all tier. So if you complete all the tier achievements, which is tier one through four, you'll get the Madden Harvest Stadium, which I'm guessing you'll get all these tiers completed towards the end of the promo. Obviously, uh, you get two harvest packs and 500 mana cash as well when completed all tiers, which is cool. Uh, let's see. Can't do that. You got to go back to the beginning here. And then we got these. So there's food and that. So let me go to the trades because... We got some stuff to look at. We got the 118 epics. You need three 102s and 25 food. Which one is that for? Just the epic player. The select one is five and 20 food. So you need food, which is a collectible and players. So there, there's no more tokens. Okay, there we go. So you only get, you need tokens for uncommons. So that's it. Yeah. So you gotta save your tokens up for uncommons. And then there's a random food item there. Uncommon player. So to get the uncommon player to get the 89 plus. You got the 589s. 589 pluses. Just like last time, which is good. Same old trade. So it's the same system. So you should know how it works. You got the iconic players. Oh, that's so cool. It tells you what they require. So Jeremy Shaggy requires mashed potatoes and food. Two of his 118s and two of a random 118, which is not bad because that's four 118s, two select and two regular. And then you just got to save your food up. 65 random, 65 uh, mashed potatoes. Not bad. I'm actually wanting to get Jeremy Shockey. Like, I'm actually, like, going to focus on getting an iconic. We do have a long time of this promo, so it is doable for sure. We got over two weeks to grind for, you know, a player, which is great news. And then you got the foils, which you need two of the icons. You got to do everything for that 139 twice. And that is it. Pretty self-explanatory and basic, to be fair. Not bad. I do love the whole entire concept of this uh, promo for sure. But yeah, I don't know who you guys are getting. It could be Deion Sanders. It could be Jeremy Shockey. Or maybe you're waiting for... These other drops. Remember, there will be other drops throughout the Thanksgiving promo, or should I say Madden Harvest promo. There will be other drops. I want Jeremy Shockey because I want a tight end. I am a Giants fan. It is a must, to be fair. <laughs> I want him. That's the goal. Uh, where's the mashed potatoes? Let me do these events. 
Mashed potatoes play for 25 now. Down. Oh, wait, we get to see the, the Madden Harvest Stadium. Right? Oh, wait, can we, uh... Oh, we can't. Okay. This kind of... It, this this literally reminds me of like a what is it like an high school stadium just how it is the trees in the background that scoreboard sitting there that's what it reminds me of okay we're doing good so far one more throw off that should be perfectly timed perfect we, we're done now we got one ticket? Hmm. I don't... <laughs> one ticket? Just one? That's interesting. And one mashed potato. So, I'm guessing I have to auto... Now, you could auto these, which makes sense. You put the first event, you can auto them. But, I was talking about the bonus board. You cannot auto these. Because they're tickets, and they're only first wins. So, it's like you play them, you get the rewards, and then you gotta keep going. So, yeah, but I don't know, as I said, who you guys want. Uh, if you guys want a player that needs mashed potatoes, grind for the mashed potatoes, grind that event. If you want a player who needs the turkey, go ahead and grind for the turkey and get, you know, your rewards throughout the turkey event. Me? I'm going for Jimmy Shock. You got to get the mashed potatoes up. So, we got nine tickets. So, you get one ticket per event, which is actually pretty... It could be better, but one ticket per event, and then one mashed potato? That's... That seems low. That seems very low. Okay. So, that... And then that's random right here. Yeah, but you get only one ticket. Okay, this is going to be an interesting promo. Definitely. They said they were being more generous with rewarding us players and stuff. So I'm hoping it's easy to get the iconic. Uh, it looks a little bit like difficult, but yeah, I don't know if I should put the food in now or wait because I do need to go ahead and grind for tokens and then I need to go ahead and put the food in also for the rare player trades and then the epic trades you know that little process of putting one thing into the other thing into the other thing but i have zero harvest how do i get heart wait a minute let me go back to this so that gave me tickets this gives me tokens okay so i'm guessing i'm gonna, I'm gonna have to wait till my stamina refills get 250 back and then get the tokens the tokens will help me go ahead and get the players but i'm also gonna need to grind the food event to go ahead and get the food and the tickets to go ahead and complete the bonus board. Dang, that's a that's a process and a half. Let's check the store out. What is the store looking like for Madden Harvest? Let's go to the section. Okay. Uh. Hmm. You got your money offers. Token pack. Oh wait, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. And that's food. Delicious pack. 400x 200 i do need to spend 100 per day well i need to spend more than 100 per day but i like to spend that 400 like harvest tokens is not bad i'll take that for sure and then that's a harvest pack for 2x oh chance at iconic imagine i just pulled an iconic out of this pack 118 plus is 1.1 oh i have a let i have a <laughs> I have less than a 1.1% chance of pulling Iconic. It doesn't even show you the Iconic, like, how rare it is. Like, the percent of a chance. That's crazy. But, again, as I said, if I opened up the pack and pulled an Iconic, that would have been nuts. And if it would have been the player I wanted, that would have been crazy as well. They did also update this. I, for I didn't even know about this. Um, but, yeah, that's something I did not show when they did the updates throughout the game but yeah the daily gold thing is actually updated now honestly i'm liking how madden harvest is it does seem kind of confusing obviously there's a lot to do but to be fair you will get the hang of it after probably a day or two or maybe you already have a hang of it you just gotta read throughout how it goes and 
make sure you're getting the right collectibles for your player you want and if you don't want you know these players wait for another drop there will be more food dropping for those players who drop so yeah that's gonna wrap it up for madden harvest i give the thanksgiving promo a let's see i'm gonna say nine out of ten because to be fair like it, it's not bad but I, then again i don't know what i rated or i don't even think i rated ak i would i would give that 10 out of 10 this is a 9 out of 10 this is better than what we had for most feared so i'm definitely gonna rate this a better rating than most feared but yeah honestly i love the art throughout this promo the card art is amazing the back out art, like art is amazing and he did change the layout of the events which is good uh so we have a new kind of concept we have these tiers now there's a lot to do uh it might keep you on the game longer than usual we don't know but you know let me know in the comment section down below how you guys like the madden harvest promo and that's gonna do it i hope you did enjoy as i said make sure you drop a like down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace